Yeah, guys, we're looking at Neo stock. Looking at Neo stock on the 6th November 2024. Coming up to 21.57 hours UK time. Let's look at the price action, guys. Let's look at the price action. It's been a bumpy ride today. Bumpy ride. Which I predicted could dip down in my um, video, I think, yesterday. So, look at the price action of NEO stock. Went down to around $4.83 today on the 6th. And just let's change the chart. Let's change the chart. So we can see what's going on. We're on the one hour chart here. Get the sort of maximum prices, maximum range, but it's where it's what's happening at the moment. Five oh five, five dollars five, just below five dollars four ninety seven. But you can't always expect it to go back up in in one you know in the same day. It's been a turbulent day with the U.S. elections. Let's change the chart. It's it's been a turbulent day, you know. <clears throat> it's all messed up this chart. I have to come out and go back in. There it is. One day. Been a turbulent day, like you know, people obviously are thinking about tariffs, you know. So, or you know, where there's fear, people obviously selling and getting worried, get scared, and move their money, etc. But they'll come back in, they'll come back in the Neo stock. I'm pretty confident of that. Neo stock, you know, the company's progressing. So I don't see that this kind of, this is like a shockwave, isn't it? You know, as I said, that something like this would happen where it could dip lower because of um, the election. Or also it could be external forces. I went into detail in one of my videos. I went into detail about how it could, come down first before it go goes up neo stock if there's any um <clears throat> issues that present including the election including why the stock market crash including like you know sales figures not as expected in the short term all sorts of issues you know all sorts coming up to christmas people pulling money out of the stock market Maybe the short of cash, etc. You know, there's like a whole host of issues, and you know, I guess it's like that with a lot of stocks. But at the end of the day, the stock price is still low, still low, still within, still on target to rocket. You know, the neo stock price is still on target to rocket. It's still within a range. It hasn't. Um, there's no disaster, you know. When, you know, when, when you squeeze the chart there, look, there's no disaster, in my opinion. It's not financial advice, just my opinion. I actually said it could dip down and then spike up probably like this week, but if not this week, next week, based on the price action, what's happening here, what's happening here. But I'm also like looking at this move here and... I'm thinking like we could in and in in and of itself we can consider this a spike, even though it's within a range. 
because it's prominent, we can consider this as a spike move. You know, move up, obviously, but not like if we say, if we say we're going to split it up and say it's not within this range, like I fell down to here when it was coming up from here and then went up again like another spike and not played within a range, you know, from six dollars to five dollars then the end of the spike proper is here you know ye yesterday um trading day sorry not yesterday that's the 31st so the, the actual range started from the 1st of november here if we're not going to say this is a spike i don't really consider this as a spike because then obviously it crashed down here I'm more, I'm more consider this as playing within a range a continuation from from here if this is not a spike then this is the start of the range which maximum was 550 as you can see there 550 to just below five dollars so basically one two three four five trading days and the continuation, excluding this spike here, continuation started here, which was the 1st of November, and went up to 540, which is just below the 550 here, you know, the 540, and then it went down to obviously $5 and just below, just broken out of that range. So <clears throat> within my, you know, um, prediction, my analysis of the um, reading of the chart here the stock price action based on the stock price action of neo stock i think that what's going to happen given that i've said already that it could dip down you know before it goes up i think then obviously it's going to jump up the next move is going to be it's going to spike up to make another move like this probably higher than this uh, I don't know if that's going to coincide, by the way, with any news from the company, you know, any positive news from the, from Neo, um, any PR, you know, any press release from Neo. I don't know if that's if the spike's going to coincide or it's just going to be big, you know, a lot of buying pressure that pushes the stock price up. But I certainly. If it does spike, as I say, by the end of this week, this trading week, or by the end of next trading week, if it does spike up, I think it's going to go higher than $6 here. I think it's going to head towards $8. That's my prediction for NEO stock up to, to put a conservative up to the 15th of november but certainly by the end of november if i extend it by two weeks if i say eight dollars to eight fifty eight eight dollars and fifty cents then i could certainly say by the by the 29th of november but conservatively or provisionally i will go 22nd of november from now, you know, to the 22nd of November. But ideally, based on future project projections, I'll be looking at up to next week, the end of next trading week, 15th. So that's my, you know, that's where I'm at at the moment. That's my predictive, um, basically my predictive powers. I've called it right. I've called it right so far you know going back i've called it right right back here somewhere i called it towards the end of august called every move right you know that it's all in the in the, in the evidence you know in the videos guys anyway um as i say that's that's what i say it's gonna happen Let's see if I'm correct. And my holdings in total, just worked it 
out on two accounts now because you know I basically dumped my crypto at a loss. Dumped my crypto to load up, you know, as I wanted to do the other day or thinking about doing the other day anyway. I took the action. Took the action, guys. So my total holdings now in NEO is 1,840 shares. In Neo, one thousand eight hundred and forty shares. Point dot dot dot. You know, point point like almost half a share or whatever. Um, so that's where I'm at at the moment, and I need, as I said, to recover my losses to get my money back. Plus. To recover my losses plus make at least 20% profit, I basically need, if I was going to cash out, not all of it, but part of it, I basically need, you know, 750 minimum. No, I need, I need 850. 850 or ideally $10. I need Neo $10, but 850 will will get my losses back basically. But I'm not really at this stage that is not a lot of holding, you know, 1840 shares. I'd be prepared to hold it even through the ups and downs. If it went say eight eight fifty and came back down to six, then I'd be prepared to hold it to go beyond. You know, to go for the longer term to go. You know, to make higher highs, because at some point, you know, the neo stock has got to be making higher highs as we can see, you know, from down here, from when it basically took off, say, you know, it was 361. Obviously it's made a high there, but then come back down. But you see that when it come back down here, what happened? It made a huge move up to 560, and then came back down to five, and, you know, people always going to think, oh, it's coming back down, it's coming back down. But then what happened? Went up to 770, as you see here, as you know, 770, 771. And it's come back down. It's gone up again here, but not obviously not made a higher high. But then it's come back down here. But if the trend continues... Uh, you know, on the bullish trend, and whether it comes down a bit more or not, it's neither here nor there. Because at some point, very soon, as you know, I've already said in this video, you can go back and listen. I'm not going to repeat. At some point, it's got to make a, a new high, beating 770, probably something like 8, 8, 859, and then maybe come back down to 6, 650, and then put, move up again at some point. So that's the situation because it's clear that neo has made a reversal uh you know the trend is reversed it's broken through 730 which i did by the way point out in, in another video right at the start if you check my videos i did point out that it needs to break 730 and i also I had noticed after I put out that video that other channels, they were copying me. They were talking about this 730 exact number. They were talking about 730, the exact number I gave, and I was the first to give it. If you check my channel. <laughs> I was the first to give it. They're copying my moves, guys. They're copying my moves. As I said, you can't trust these other channels. You don't, they're not, you know, they're basically copying me. And 
can't trust that stock tweets. I was reading that they got something like 10 million. Or I was thinking like a million. I don't know why. Even a hundred thousand. Well, when I said a hundred thousand or a million, that could be like people on per day or whatever. I don't know how many users they have on per day, but in total, they got like 10 million users. So it says online, but you know, with that, as I was saying in a previous video, that amount of traffic, you know, that amount of people, investors, traders, they can manipulate. Manipulation goes on, guys. They could put bots in to bring prices down so that they could buy more cheaper, install fear into stock. They could pump a stock up just by it pumping positive news they could bring the stock up and down you know you just can't trust these people why is it i was predicting i was calling it right on the site and that's what i was doing and then they suspended me why would they do that why would they do that guys i'll tell you why because other people don't do it other people say oh either it's going to come down going to go up but they never call it right they never give exact price but this is what they don't like when you're too good, when you're too good, they don't like it because they, 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 they think like you've got, you know, superpowers, superhuman powers. That, that, that scares them, guys. They can't handle it when you've got superhuman powers, basically. They can't handle it, right? So what do they do? They block you, they suspend you, ban you from the site. And that's what's happened to me. So... If it, it, look, you know, if you're clever more than them, if you're cleverer, you know, that's it. They don't want to know. You know, they like to think that they're, they're the cleverest. Even Elon Musk, he likes to think he's the cleverest, you know, even though he employs people probably 100 times cleverer than him. Of course, you're not going to see that. The perception is that he's the genius. It's not the genius. It's just the investor, guys. So the thing is, he's not going to have uh, anyone say they're clever or, you know, more than him. He's not going to, like, you know, he's not going to allow, allow them to say it or to even prove the, their individuality, their individual powers. Collectively, yeah, you can employ a hundred thousand, you know, ten thousand clever people. Collectively, they produce goods and services, but you can't have one individual person, you know, showing their superhuman powers beyond beyond his uh, investing powers. So that's the point, guys. And that's what they do. I'm sure there's a lot of manipulation goes on with sites like stock tweets, etc. Because they get people in and then they use that data to manipulate. Um, it's kind of like a passive pump and dump. It's a passive pump and dump. It's a bit like outsiders trying to influence an election using bots. But of course, they can completely control it within their site. They can put out any news they want through, you know, through posts, through comments, etc., etc. And obviously, people fear, you know, naive traders or investors. They they're easily broken. They easily sell. You may have done it yourself if you when you first started trading or investing someone says it's no good sell or this or that so it's doubt in your mind so it's doubts in your mind and then you you sell you someone tells you to sell you sell like and what happens the stock goes flying it goes it goes it goes to the moon and then you kick yourself why did i listen to them it might not go to the moon the next day the next week next month but could be a year's time it goes to the moon and you after you sold you thought you're never going back in and you you know you don't want to know and then it goes to the moon it's the same like you know when people when a stock 
goes up certain stocks, everyone's saying buy, 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 and then it falls. It's like a pump and dump, penny stocks. But yeah, that's the point, guys. At the moment, Neo stock is floating around five, you know, five, just under five, and just, just above five. It's going within the range, but obviously, because it spiked down below five, as I say, I'm not going to repeat what I said. You can listen again. But I've already said in this video what's going to happen, <clears throat> what I think is going to happen. Again, guys, not financial advice, just my opinion. But I've called it right so far. And even if I get one decision wrong, it doesn't put a dent on my overall performance rate. And of course, as you know, if you're trading, investing, etc., you're always going to have stock losses. But I'm not saying that, you know, I mean, look how many times I said it's going to go up and then it's going to go down and it's going to go sideways and up again and down and so on, so on, so on. How many times I've called it right and the evidence is all there. You find me another channel that can say that about a stock as good as me. Find me another channel, you know, put it in the comments, guys. Let me know in the comments about this channel. I want to go and investigate. 